Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius, and welcome to your Celtic Oral Oracle energy reading uh, as we are approaching our next big holiday of St. Patty's Day. Uh, we will be doing a five card pinnacle shaped reading here to hopefully get you some answers if you're having any questions, dilemmas, that kind of thing. If you do enjoy these readings, please do let me know in the comments or like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, all that other great stuff. It's completely free for you, but it does make a big difference to me and helps me grow my channel and I appreciate it very much. So let's go ahead and get started. The first position in this is kind of what you're facing or kind of what situation you may be in. The second is what brings you joy or what would make you happier if you could get there. The third is certainly the obstacle that you may be facing to get to your happy spot or your happy place. Uh, the fourth is what spirit's message to you is. And the fifth is your optimal outcome here. So let's kind of see what we're looking at, kind of get a read here. If there are some things going on that you would like some information, you know, to help you with. So we have here that wisdom, power, and transformation is the situation that you're facing. And I do feel like a lot of you right now you are in a place where you do feel like you need some sort of transformation, right? You feel a power shift. You feel a powerful pull to make a change, right? You want something new. You want something better. You want something more. And a lot of us are feeling that, right? We're feeling that shift in the environment, the atmosphere. Uh, we're entering that solar eclipse season. We've come out of full moons. We've come out of that shift of Jupiter into Aquarius, ending cycles. There's a lot going on, right? Energy wise. And a lot of us are in that that phase of the time of me, right? What can I do for me? What is it that I need to do to bolster myself, right? Because maybe you've been living for others, really, okay? You've been doing the same thing and a lot of your energy has been spent taking care of others, doing things for others, helping others, right? And you're at a point where you want something better for yourself. You want more for yourself. You've really exacerbated all of your um, your energy has been spent um, just, you know, on everything but yourself, right? Um, and I think that, did I just say exacerbated and totally use that wrong? I did, okay, forget that, <laughs> my bad. Okay, anyway, so the bottom line is you know you need a transformation, right? You know that you have that powerful shift. The wisdom factor is your issue, right? Because you don't know what it is you want. It's easier to know what you don't want, right? Because for a lot of you, you don't even know what's out there. You don't even know what options are. And a lot of things, you don't know if you really like something, right? You don't know what your passion is. You don't know what your energy is. Maybe you've been doing the same thing for so long, you don't know. And I'm seeing this in a lot of readings, right? Uh, love readings, career readings, doesn't matter. Same thing. You're like, I've been banging my head against the same rock for so long at the same job. You know, I came out, I did this job from jump. I've been at the same thing for so long. I've been in the same type of relationship, if not the same relationship, for so long. I'm a repetitive cycle. I'm on repeat. I'm the spin cycle on repeat. Help me, right? I don't know what I need to do to get out of it. And when I do get out of it, I don't even know what I want next, right? And that's kind of where you're a little bit kind of stuck, right? You're like, I know I need a change. I don't know what change I want. I don't even know what options I have. And then if I get out of this, I don't know how I'm going to make it because you know, you may be in a very vicious cycle where you are in a cycle of narcissistic situations where they're telling you you can't make it and you've kind of had that drilled in your head which can really mess with you. Or you're in a situation where you've just been trapped for so long, you don't know any better or any different, right? Like I only know how to do one thing, that's all I've ever done, but I want something totally different. How do I break into that, you know? I only know one type of relationship and obviously it's not a good one, right? Because I want out of it but I don't know how to find somebody new. You know, I work from home, I don't meet anybody. Um, they're not gonna follow this guy on my couch, what do I do? You know, these kinds of things, but whatever it is, I feel like the knowledge, the wisdom of how to move forward is kind of what's got you hung up. So the question here is, you know, right? What is your happiness? That's your big thing. So this is where card number two is gonna help, right? So change, gateway, and new beginnings. Well, we know this is what you need. You kind of know this, right? You kind of knew this going in. You felt that power, powerful pull, powerful shift, powerful 
um, draining energy. Like you've got to stop what you're doing and change it up. You need something new, right? This is not getting it. It's just not getting it. And it could be for a host of reasons, right? It may be that you are just complacent. You're just tired of the same old. You are just done with this. You're just tired of giving, giving, giving and not getting back right? It could be that you are in a bad situation. It could be a toxic situation. But even if it's not that kind of situation, it's just a draining situation because it's not bringing you joy, right? It's like that KonMari idea, like if this item doesn't bring you joy, toss it, right? We don't need the negative, right? If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem, right? So you know that this is what's going to bring you happiness, right? the portal to something new, that movement to something new, a change, a new beginning, something fresh. That's what you need. We already know that. What's your obstacle though? Stop recharge and self care. And I feel like this is huge for you, right? Because I feel like you have been really burning the candle at both ends, right? You know, you want something new and probably a big part of that is because you are a giver. You've give, 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 give your energy for others, right? And even if it's not, like I said, in a toxic situation, this could be because you are, you know, somebody who is a nurturer and people just take that for granted. They don't mean to, they're not being mean, right? But they just automatically assume, you know, oh, well, don't worry about it. Sagittarius will cover it. They've got it. They handle everything. Don't worry about it. They've got it. You know, these dishes magically wash themselves. This house magically cleans itself. That work at work magically gets done. I mean, I don't know. Everybody else leaves at four o'clock. I don't know how it gets done. Meanwhile, you're there at seven o'clock still burning the midnight oil, right? And they just take that for granted because... It's just always been that way, right? It's not that they're being mean. Now, sometimes they are. Maybe they are using and abusing you. Maybe they are overworking you. Maybe you are being, you know, treated unfairly. Maybe you are give, give, giving emotionally and, you know, spiritually and all of those things. And they're not giving back to you, right? You're not getting any return for your high vibrational energy, in which case you are drained, right? Any way you go about it, you're drained, right? How can you start something new, right? How can you even find out what is going to really spark you? What is going to make you happy? What is going to be that new endeavor? How are you gonna find that new person when you're drained, right? How are you gonna find that new job when you're so drained that you can't even put it together for, you know, an interview or, you know, a to put your resume back together that maybe you haven't had to do in years on end. How are you going to pull yourself together to put on, you know, decent clothes and makeup that maybe you don't usually do if you work from home or, you know, you don't really get dressed up for work or that kind of thing to go out on a date for, you know, whatever reason, if you are trying to, let's say, find a new relationship, that kind of thing. How are you going to do all that if you are absolutely beat down, drained? You have to take some time for yourself. So that, for many of us, brings frustration now, right? Because we want things to happen now. We want to go from, boom, I want something new, to boom, I want to know what it is and I want it to happen overnight. That's a problem, right? <laughs> Taking time for ourselves is not something we want to do. That takes work, right? <laughs> Taking time for ourselves is like, okay, that's all great, but what I want is to take time for myself while in my brand new exciting position or with my brand new exciting, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, or my brand new exciting house or place I live or whatever it is that maybe you want the changing, right? So that is going to be a little bit of a challenge for you. But what does spirit say, right? Let's see what spirit has to say. So spirit is the green woman. It's saying feminine nature and oneness. And this is saying to you, right? It's saying that you need to go back to your roots, right? You need to go back to basics, okay? You need to harness your feminine divine, right? You need to go back and you need to, first of all, nourish yourself, Nothing in nature grows without being in a nourishing environment, right? You don't take something and throw it in a toxic environment, put it under extreme stress and expect it to grow, bloom, be beautiful, floral, you know, buds and blooms and all this, right? Doesn't happen, can't happen. You have to protect it. You have to give it a good environment. You have to nurture it. You have to allow it to um, 
have its rest and rejuvenation in the sun and the water and all of the things that it needs to take care of itself, right? Self-care, it has to have that. Things don't grow in Chernobyl, right? I mean, you don't have a toxic meltdown and then expect the best out of it, right? So that's the first thing that spirit is saying, hey, you have to treat this like you would anything. You have to treat yourself, the situation, like you would anything that you want to grow and bloom and blossom and become better, right? And then the second thing you have to do is harness the divine feminine, right? So much of what has led you to this position is that you have probably taken a backseat, right? You have let yourself kind of be overshadowed. Whether it is because you've let somebody else kind of take advantage of you without even knowing it maybe. Like I said, maybe they didn't know they were taking advantage of you. You just always handled everything. You've been a nurturer. You've been that person who just handled the work. You just do what you're supposed to do. And a lot of other people take that for granted, right? Because not everybody is as, um, you know, driven as you or is responsible as you or, you know, those kinds of things. But this is the part where you take back your you know, your strength and your, I deserve some attention, right? I am the feminine. I am the divine, right? I need somebody who is my masculine divine match, who's going to be more protective, more caring and more nurturing of me, more uh, able to give back to me when I'm giving to them, right? Watching out for me, making sure that they're not draining my energy, but filling my cup, Right? making sure that I am getting the energy exchange that is beneficial to both of us, not just me giving everything to my job, me giving everything to my spouse, me giving everything to my kids, whatever it may be, and nobody giving anything back to me, right? You need to harness that, right? And accept no less. That's what spirit's telling you, okay? So basically, self-love, self-care, self-worth most important thing. Spirit is saying, if you don't know your own worth, how can you expect anybody else to adhere to your level of worth when you're not putting out, this is my level and I'll expect and accept nothing less, right? You have to know your level before, you have to know and expect your level before you can expect anybody to, rep, you know, to really adhere to those boundaries. You have to set the boundaries, right? So that's what Spirit's telling you. What's your outcome, right? So the weavers, fate, manifestation, and decisions. And this is fantastic, right? Because this is saying once you have set those boundaries, once you have created what it is that makes you happy, what it is you'll accept, what it is that you as a divine feminine who has now nourished yourself to understand your worth and what you want and what you need and what you will accept and what you won't, then you can manifest anything you want, really and truly, whether it's a partner, whether it's a job, whether it's a new house, whether it's a place to live, whatever it may be, right? At that point, you can manifest it and have choices, decisions, right? It'll be faded at that point that you will have many opportunities, right? Of matching energy, right? That divine masculine type of matching energy. And that's gender neutral, right? But, and it could be, right? Remember the divine masculine doesn't have to be a person. It could be that job that matches your energy, right? That exciting new adventure that matches your energy. It could be that home that really matches your energy, whatever it is, but it has to match your energy and give back to you. Make you feel as good as you put you know yourself into it it's making you feel that energy you know exchange right you feel good from it right so this is where you get that decision and once you get choices that's where things really start to change right because up here you're feeling like you don't even know what you want you're feeling like you don't even know what you want to do you're feeling like you just know you need to change and that's about all you know down here, you're feeling like I can manifest anything I want. And then I can choose from what I manifest. I can I have basically the world is my oyster, I can have my choice, right? So that is a big, big, big growth, right? And it all is really going to start from you deciding to move forward, but setting your boundaries, taking care of yourself with self love and realizing 
that you will accept no less than what you give, right? You will take no less than what you're giving. Because right now, I feel like you are giving, giving, giving yourself, whether it is emotionally, whether it is in, you know, an actual physical way, you're working yourself to the bone, you know, you're pushing out all the fires at home, you're doing everything you're supposed to do, you know, you're emotionally, you know, giving all your love to everybody in the house and nobody's giving any love back, you know, whatever it may be, I feel like you're give, give, giving, and there's no emotional, you know, energy exchange coming back to you of equal value. So you're drained, right? You're drained. You need to take some time, recover your energy level, realize how strong you are, rebuild that, set those boundaries, and then find someone who matches your energy exchange. Okay, your energy levels right up here, not down here. All right, so hopefully this resonated with you. If it did, please do like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, all that other great stuff. Would love to hear from you in the comments. And I hope to see you back very soon. And as this is a Celtic reading, happy almost St. Patty's Day. Bye.